Well guys, I ended up getting enough footage for a full video today, so uh, I didn't realize I would, so I didn't do an intro, but well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Fast Ag Farms. Let's get into it. Canola harvest. What's that? Real quick guys, be sure to like the video if you guys do like it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right here and enjoy the video. That canola is one bushy crop. It is. That looks like a Are we fasting? Technically, yes, because I haven't eaten since 11. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, that well, works. Wait, 11 Central Time or 11 Mountain Time? It'd be 11 Central Time. No, 11.30 Central Time, so 10.30 Mountain Time. Any better than I am. So we're cutting canola here, guys. Tony, tell me what, what is canola? Tell me a little about it, because I don't, this is my first time in a canola field. I'm learning about as much as I've ever learned. Canola is an oil seed that is crushed and uh, canola oil. Um, it's used a little bit for biofuel, I believe, and as well as like you put it into uh, butters to make it more spreadable. So I didn't know that. Go to a grocery store, you might find a tub of butter that says canola oil, and that's what that's why it's easier to spread on your toast. Hmm. And there's your hey, and it's Friday, Farm Fact Friday. Farm Fact Friday. Yeah, I like that. It's just really cool. I mean, as far as cutting it goes, it's really, really bushy. It's kind of like a small tree from what I've seen. And a lot of times it's kind of bunching up right there. You can see he's got the augers up on top. This is not an auger header. It is a draper header, but he's got top augers, they're called on there, to kind of help guide the canola in. They're spinning at the same same rate towards the center as the belt, so kind of help guide the canola in. Next one, that right? Yeah, for the most part. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, tell me, tell me you're dumb. You got it. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of farms will swath their canola and pick it up in the pickup head, and we've had good luck with just swathing it or just cutting it straight without a swather. And why is that? Is it bad because you lose more, or and why do you guys swath? Sometimes just to speed up harvest and make it ripe and evenly. But typically, we get heat to shut down our our blooms are, you know, while it's blooming, it kind of starts to the ripening, ripening process all together. So the heat will trigger the plant to start drying down and will dry down evenly. So makes sense. So far, we haven't been uh, stung by it too bad. This year is probably the worst we've had for shattered because we've had a lot of wind and they are very brittle seed pods. And if I don't know, you guys probably won't be able to tell, but I can kind of tell you just see every now and then you just see a white kind of streak of white compared to the pale gown and that's like a head that's already shattered so basically a, a pod that's already lost all its seeds not bad and when he mean what he means by swath is he basically just takes a draper head and instead of bringing it into a combine he just sets it right on the ground and then that helps it that basically kills the plant and helps it dry down evenly as he said but then the only issue with having that is he doesn't have to buy an extra an extra head to put on his combine and most guys actually have to buy a, a dedicated swather where Tony wouldn't be too bad because you already, you already have one for uh, yeah, swathing Yeah, find a of. wider swather head. It's too bad we can't put one of these 45s on, but I don't think you can shove that through the center of the, that'd be a lot. Of the header. Yeah, that'd be a lot. Anyway, there's your three minute lesson on Farm Fact Friday on canola from the master Tony Fast. No master. Master in my book. <laughs> You're a master from anyone from the Midwest. How That's about probably that? true. If you go to Canada, you'll learn a lot more about it. <laughs> like I said, there you go. Chasing! This is really dusty stuff. Running. Don't try that at home, kids. I'm a professional ladder jumper. Please tell me you said running while uh, you were running. Of course I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Panic! Panic! That was a quote from Tony. Yeah, you got that I, I, I stole that from his video. <laughs> Except Nick didn't say anything back to me. Thanks, dude. I think he said, I think he said hi, dude, bye, dude. He just didn't hear it. No, he, he, he said something. Oh. No, he, yeah, he did say something. Yeah, that's what he said in my video. Yeah, I was like, he did say that in yours. Also. Junk. Whatever. That, that's that. Kind of right there. Can you even see it? Really see it there. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now we're good. All is good in the world. Coming up the Nebraska flag. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna want me to pull that off so they can fly in for game day tomorrow at their house. They're almost gonna need to, especially <laughs> if you're not running. Just don't mention it. Just leave it up there and get soaked. In all seriousness, guys, thank you so much for Tony. It's been a blast for three days. I've stopped by and crashed your party now. Yeah. Three days I've been. Even, even stayed at my house one night. I did stay at his house one night. So he's an awesome guy, an awesome channel, cool operation out here in Montana. I don't know if I've already shouted him out before, but definitely if you haven't checked out his channel yet, Fast Ag, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yes, they're all the same. Fast, Fast Ag or Fast Ag Montana. It's pretty dang cool. He's got some sweet drone footage, guys, on par to Welkers. So definitely check him out. On par to Welkers? Wow. Thanks, Ron. No problem. Hey, I mean, you take some pretty so cool stuff. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Not sorry, Nick. <laughs> but we were, and Nick and I were joking about putting all four of our 8230s in the same field of 45 foot heads. Ooh. Too bad we don't live closer than five mi five hours apart, because that would cool. probably be coming in the future. That's five hours by car. So, a full day, 12, 14 hours by combine. Well, we would haul them. Oh, there you go. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and what's, what's an $80,000 RGN trailer anyway? It's like... Psh, chump change. Us farmers are rich, right? Come on. <laughs> like $4 wheat, $3 corn, you can get anything with that. I was just thinking the other day, for the amount of debt that I have right now farming, I could be a doctor. <laughs> Maybe twice. Twice. <laughs> doctor Fast. Would you be Doctor Fast or would you be Doctor Tony? I have no idea. It's a tough one. Any far any parting words for the new fans? Mm, no. You stay classy, Glasgow. <laughs> that's where we're that's the major city near us. That's, that's the hub. That's the hub. Hub of what? 
4,000 people? Uh, no. Maybe like on a game day. On a game day? <laughs> like tonight. They do have a McDonald's though, so yeah. it'll be my breakfast tomorrow. Alrighty, guys. And it's raining. Ooh, it is raining. Good thing we quit. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Peace out from Montana. Next time you'll see me, I'll be in Iowa. He will not, but he should come there someday. I'll be close. That's true, you'll be in Omaha. I'm gonna be in Omaha in December, as well as in Lincoln for a Huskers game in uh, Are you going October. To Iowa, Iowa, Nebraska Iowa, game? I think so. Uh, I think if you ever go to an Iowa, Nebraska game, you let me know, I will be. I will meet you there. That would be fun. That would be a blast. Alrighty guys, peace. What's that? Look at Super Trucker Rob. Super Trucker Rob. Hey, Hi Rob. That's Rob. I'm good, how are you? Good, good. You get a time. Look how tiny these seeds are. I don't know, there's probably a thousand in my hand right now. It's crazy. Look at all them. That's awesome. All right, sweet. This thing can go in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stomp on it, man. Go Hawks. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Be sure to subscribe to Tony's channel once again. Awesome channel, you'll like it. What's that? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. But be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heartsung Family Farms. And of course guys, as always, ta-ta for now.